Hey everyone, Jesse here with Absolutely Clean Window Washing, coming to you with a ice dam removal job with low pressure steam in Hayward, Wisconsin. We were called to this house because they had water coming in the home. Uh, as you can see out, it's raining right now. The ice dam's holding a lot of water and it's coming in the building pretty good. We're gonna get steaming. We're gonna get the ice dam opened up. As you can see, we're using low pressure steam. This is not a trigger gun, which indicates high pressure. This is a low pressure system. There's no trigger on this gun. And as you can see on the end of this gun, we've got a steam expansion nozzle, which indicates low pressure steam. So you're looking for a pipe like this and no trigger. These are great indications of low pressure steam. I highly recommend avoiding trigger guns and colored plastic nozzles on the end. I also recommend that you look at the person's feet. Whoever is going to, going to go up on your roof, I recommend that you look at their boots. Never allow someone to wear cleats on your feet, okay? And this job also needs two people to be done properly. So I got one person behind the camera and you got me, I'm the owner of the company. Um, so if a company wants to send out one person with a trigger gun and cleats on their feet, I highly recommend that you send them home. This is a job best left for two people, two professional people. There's a lot of things in this industry that require a lot of safety. You wanna hold the ladder for each other at the top and the bottom. Um, there's a lot of things that require two people. You gotta always have one person on the ground near the machine while somebody's up on the roof steaming. Um, it's very important the, the machine can actually um, become very dangerous if, if something goes wrong with the machine. The technician on the ground needs to be right there to correct whatever issue happens. So it, it requires two people to do this job. So we were called to this job because they had water coming in the building. <clears throat> so as you can see here on the siding, we've got some ice coming down right above the window, right through the soffits, right down the siding. We've got some icicles, you know, right here, right here on the building. And these are great indications that you've got a problem that the ice dam on the roof is actually holding water. The water comes underneath the shingles fills up your soffits, your so soffits basically become a solid block of ice, and then you start getting water in your building. This area right here actually isn't leaking inside yet, but I would say there's probably water in the wall cavity. I'll know a little bit more later on if I thermal image this building, uh, which I have a thermal image camera with us all times. Um, but if I thermal image this, I'll probably see some water in the ceiling and the walls. It might not be showing itself yet, but we are called because of what's going on in the back of the house. So we'll take you around to the back of the house here as well. And we'll show you just how much water is coming down the siding there. Thank you. Okay, so here we are at the back of the house and just taking a very quick look at the siding here, you can see how much water is actually on the siding here. And the leak is right near this window here in the kitchen area. And so if your siding looks wet like this at all, that's a great indication that the ice dam on that roof is holding water. The water's finding a place to come in down the siding through the soffits if you have icicles coming behind your gutters through your soffit down your siding anywhere where icicles should not be or water should not be that's a great indication that you got an ice dam up there and it's in immediate need of attention so if you have a property anywhere in hayward that you like steamed please give us a call 612-919-4185 i've been doing this over 20 years I was a roofer most of my life and I believe in doing things correctly and doing things gently. And that means low pressure steam. That means avoiding high power pressure washers on your roof. I wouldn't let anybody up there with a hammer, a chisel, a screwdriver. Just look for somebody that's using low pressure steam. If you'd like to give us a call, we're gonna put a picture of the magnet on my truck. You can write down the phone number and give me a call. Thank you so much.